Howdy folks, good morning. Here's a part two video over at the Khorasan State Park. So, right now I'm actually walking along one of their trails that they have at this particular park. And I figure this is a great opportunity to just take another video. So just past me, is the Estero River. So the Estero River will eventually meet up with Estero Bay, which will then meet up with the Gulf of Mexico. Same thing, uh, this is actually mostly a freshwater stream just because there are no mangroves around here. That's an indication for any of you to know if you are mostly seeing fresh water because mangroves in general are a very salt tolerant plant so that's that's a clue you guys can use but where i'm at right now in particular this is known or this particular trail is known as bamboo landing now it's called that because as you can see directly to my left we've got some bamboo right here I gotta tell you like bamboo is truly amazing just because of how thick it can grow and even how tall you know just based off of this one this is probably at least 50 to 60 feet in height so these have been here for a little while and you know Bamboo is a favorite food source, especially for our fellow pandas in Asia. So, that being said, uh, most likely this bamboo is just categorized as a non-native. But it probably, to some extent, it probably has become an invasive. Just because, it, you know, along this particular trail, it's everywhere. So, prior, prior to the Tamiami Trail, which is known as U.S. Route 41, prior to that road existing, the, one of the only ways to get to the Khorasan Settlement was the Estero River. That was their only way to get here. Besides, of course, walking on foot, right? But that... You know, you gotta consider that took a lot longer, too, to complete. So, it is often believed, from what I did read when I first got here, this bamboo that we're seeing, apparently it's believed that these came from the Edison Estate, which is basically in downtown Fort Myers. And when I say Edison Estate, I'm actually directly referring to Thomas Edison. And I personally, I mean, I could be wrong, but Thomas Edison, he liked to experiment with a lot of plants, exotic plants, you know, that weren't from Florida. We'll be honest, I believe that some of the plants that he did introduce became invasive because of him introducing them. Now, like I said, it may not necessarily be the case, but I'm sure he didn't help either. Because you figure this is back in the late 1800s, so really the concept of invasive plants wasn't really as known at the time. So they didn't really know the consequences either. So, as I said in my last video, I was going to mention another belief system that the Khorasans have believed. So, Cyrus Teed himself, the founder, he came up with a concept 
called cellular cosmogony. Hold on a second. Okay, going back to my point. So he came up with a concept called cellular cosmogony. And long story short, cellular cosmogony entails that we humans live at the center of the universe, Earth, essentially. And the fact that Earth herself is a hollow planet. So we have an outer covering of the planet itself, and we live on the inside of it, which sounds a little confusing, but an analogy I can use is essentially the Earth was like an egg. <laughs> yeah, the Earth is an egg. And then the yolk, we live in that yolk. And it was believed, too, that the sun was like a electromagnetic sphere, which had both a light side and a dark side. So that's why we had the contrast of day and night. Now, it does sound a little bit out there. But, you know, back then, you know, there were all different types of belief systems in terms of where exactly we live. Now, of course, this particular belief is now disproven because, of course, when we had, you know, our first uh, moon expedition back in the late 1960s, that was proven wrong. As a matter of fact. And. Of course. When it comes to the moon landing. There are those who. Have particular. Conspiracy theories. But the bottom line is. Since. We have gone to space. It does prove. That the earth is not hollow. It's all one. Solid sphere. Essentially. Hold on a second, you guys. So, essentially, you know, the Apollo mission really shattered the beliefs of the Khorashans. So, really though, if any of you are like more interested in learning about, you know, what some of their belief systems were or just their way of life, you just you got to visit the state park. You know they they've got some excellent exhibits, and they actually do have some guided tours that are offered here. Don't get me wrong, it'd be a neat place to uh, work at, but Stero's a little bit too far for me. <laughs> just just a tad. You know, it took me a little over an hour just to get here, and then to travel back. No, thank you. Especially with how much gas is right now. So, alright you guys. Take it easy. Stay tuned for any more videos coming up throughout the day. And Journey on a Journey is outwards. Take care, folks. See ya.